Well, speaking of taxes, when you think of tax havens, what comes to mind? Ireland? The Cayman Islands? But what do you know about tiny Luxembourg? It's been hard to prove that Luxembourg is a tax haven because its tax rulings have never before been made public until now. CNBC, which produces this program, partnered with the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists to produce a report on one of the biggest leaks of tax documents. Dina Gosofsky has that story. Over 500 tax rulings from 340 companies gives us an exclusive look into how multinational corporations are using Luxembourg to pay less taxes or avoid paying them altogether. 219 U.S. companies, including Mylan, Verizon, FedEx and Amazon, have set up shop in the tiny nation. The way it works, accounting firms like PricewaterhouseCoopers consult with tax ministers in Luxembourg on behalf of the companies. They present the structure they want to set up, and most of the time, they get a seal of approval. That would be akin to a foreign firm going to the IRS first to arrange its tax burden. About $95 billion in profits flowed through Luxembourg in 2012 alone, according to the Bureau of Economic Analysis. On that, only about $1.1 billion was paid in taxes, so about 1%. If that money were repatriated to the United States at our current corporate tax rate, that would amount to about a $30 billion tax bill. Direct investment from the United States to Luxembourg in 2013 was $416 billion. Companies are able to shave off tax bills through a variety of ways, none of which appears to be illegal. For example, Luxembourg companies that don't necessarily operate in the country can borrow money from related tax haven entities, then relend that money to subsidiaries. The result? Billions are deducted as interest expense. International tax expert and attorney Stephen Plotnick gave this example. The Luxembourg tax, for example, on $50 million of interest income that's run through it would be $100,000. So that's how much you pay for the privilege Which of setting up. Which is nothing. Nothing. And that's what you pay for the privilege of being in Luxembourg. A spokesman for Luxembourg's finance minister told CNBC that he strongly rejects the fact that Luxembourg is a tax haven and says companies are instead enticed by its favorable business climate and political stability. But Luxembourg is feeling the heat. The European Union is currently looking into whether or not it has engaged in harmful tax practices. And in a twist of irony, former Luxembourg Prime Minister Jean-Claude Juncker, often credited with setting up the very tax structure that is currently being investigated, is now president of the European Commission, a branch of the same organization investigating Luxembourg's tax practices. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Dina Gosofsky.